Welcome to the IPSE Commander's Course. In this video, we will cover IPSE's reporting and analytics tools that are available to you as a commander. In release two, IPSE delivers analytical capabilities which will enable commanders to make informed decisions based on HR data. The Human Resources Authorization Report, or HRAR, displays the unit manning. The HRAR used to be called the Unit Manning Report, or UMR. The HRAR contains four tabs, total soldiers, slotted soldiers, unfilled positions, and grades analysis. Let's start in the total soldiers tab. Each chart in the tab is interactive. You can hover over the chart and see pertinent information. If you want to drill down and see specifics, you simply click on the interactive data point. In this example, hovering over the O5 bar, which in this case is red, shows you there are three lieutenant colonels assigned in this unit. Clicking on this data point will display a roster with their detailed information. The data displayed in each tab is directly linked to the IPSE role of the person accessing the report. A company commander will only be able to see their company's information, while a brigade commander would see everyone assigned to their brigade. Let's scroll down. This tab also displays the slotted template summary, unfilled positions, authorized strength, and assigned soldiers. You can customize the HRAR based on your preferences. Click in the settings icon in the upper right hand corner that looks like a cogwheel to display the menu. A drop down list appears allowing you to print, export to Excel, refresh the charts, and create bookmarks. You can save the customizations you make. That way the page will display your preferences every time it is launched. Drop down menus at the top of the tab allow you to filter the report by MOS, UIC, grade, authorization document, and by document date range. When setting your filters, you can also search for specific values instead of going through the drop-down list. You do this by typing in the search field that appears in the drop-down. To perform a wildcard search, use the percentage sign. For example, if you want to see all infantry soldiers in your unit, enter 11%. This wildcard search will only return the 11 series MOSs. As covered in the iHub video, you also have access to several predefined queries from the manager dashboard. You can access all IPSA public queries through Query Viewer. To get to the Query Viewer, open the nav bar. Then go to HCM, Reporting Tools, Query, and then Query Viewer. In the Query Viewer, there are currently over 70 queries available. The IPSA specific queries start with IP. This concludes our video on IPSA reporting and analytics tools. The next video will cover IPSA customer support functionality. IPSA will soon be the new standard in all HR actions, and you need to fully understand its capabilities. Stay with us through the series for step-by-step -step instructions on specific tasks within IPSA. IPSA is here, one soldier, one record, one army.